Hi, everyone, and welcome to The Leadership Factor, where we shine the light on people doing great things in our community. My name is John Lanius. I'm the president of Vidzu Media, and it is a pleasure to talk with leaders from all around the world, as I've been doing for the past couple of weeks here on The Leadership Factor. Joining me now is Kelly Pollack. She's the executive director of the Center of Creative Arts, also known as COCA. Kelly, how are you? I'm fine. How are you, John? Excellent. Uh, so for those who don't know, what is COCA? COCA is a community arts center. We celebrate the arts experience by engaging everyone, young and old, um, all skill levels, all backgrounds, and hands-on experiences in the arts. So at our core, it's arts education. Uh, we like to think of ourselves as the creative hub for St. Louis community. I would very much agree mm -hmm. with that. Uh, so when we're looking at the challenges that you've had during this time, uh, I understand one of your biggest challenges have been, have been moving uh, your, your main event virtual. Can you speak to that event and then what's been that experience? Sure. Um, at our core is building community. So that's as part of our mission is to enrich lives and build community. So this unprecedented time has, you know, at, at its core forced us to rethink and redefine what building community means. Um, as you mentioned, we had our, our sole fundraiser, Coca Cabana, scheduled for April 24th, and that is an event that is core both to our, our revenue, our fundraising efforts, as well as to our community building efforts. It's known for a, um, a fun, creative event, and we knew um, mid-March, um, as we were really understanding what this pandemic was going to mean for our community, that we were going to have to cancel that event. And uh, we quickly um, thought about, could we continue on and reimagine what this might be? This year's theme, um, every year Coca Cabana has a really fun theme that people can celebrate, was Coca-Cella. We had imagined that this event would be in our expanded campus. We would um, really build on the iconic music and arts festival, Coachella, and we were gonna have music uh, playing throughout all of our studios and space throughout our campus. Um, creates a very different uh, type of event to think about this virtually, but we, we adapted and thought, let's try to be on the leading edge of how we might do a virtual event. And so here we go this Friday. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how, how can people participate this Friday? Well, the great news about moving in this to virtual space is that everyone can participate, not only here in St. Louis, but across the country and quite frankly, across the globe. So if you go to COCA's website, uh, cocastl.org, and you'll see a slash Coachella, there's an opportunity for everyone to register. Really, all it takes is um, everyone to RSVP. There'll be a little link to do that. And once you've RSVP'd, you'll get a link and uh, be able to participate in your own living rooms come Friday evening. So everybody knows what they're going to be doing on Friday night. My guest has been Kelly Pollack. She's the executive director of COCA. And uh, Kelly, one of the things that we've been doing on these interviews is really uh, asking leaders what's in, what, what is inspiring them during this time, like perhaps uh, words of inspiration or a story. Um, what are you willing to share? For me, it's absolutely the artist. Um, you can see when we have these difficult, tough times in our, in our region, across the country, we turn to the artist. It's the musicians and the storytellers, the performers that we're all leaning towards for inspiration to lift us up. And I think to make meaning of, of troubled times to share human connectedness. Um, on a more localized level, that shows up for us in our teaching artists. We have over 200 teaching artists that work for COCA, and we quickly had to adapt to think about what our winter spring class semester would look like. And um, they're resilient and adaptive and creative, and they have remained that connectedness with our student population and moved our entire class structure to an online learning platform. So, um, you know, it's, it's the artists that show up strong in these times. I, I, I love it, all of that. Kelly Pollack, the Executive Director of COCA, thank you so much for joining me. My pleasure. My name is John Lanius, and you've been watching The Leadership Factor. My guest has been Kelly Pollack, Executive Director of COCA, and uh, we'll have more interviews for you soon on The Leadership Factor. Thank you.